Good evening, 316 Slugger back again for another card rummage video on the eve of our Savior, Jesus Christ. I hope everybody wakes up tomorrow and has a wonderful day. With that being said, let's look at some of my personal in my collection here these that I'm going to show you have either been got this Luke Weaver autograph first Bowman Chrome picked that up off of eBay this Matt Carpenter autograph I actually did this with a trade with a fellow YouTuber. Got this Stan Musial Gypsy Queen Mini MVP. This is from 2016. Picked up this 1984 Donruss Ozzy Smith at a card show. Pulled this Jordan Hicks out of last year's, or 2018 Bowman Platinum. This, they had some clearance packs at the beginning of the year. It's numbered 32 out of 150. And yes, I'm a big St. Louis Cardinals fan. So I do have a lot of Cardinals. So I hope I don't bore you with the Cardinals stuff. This is Joe Kelly. I've had this in my collection for a few years now. I actually traded some cards at my local card shop for this card, as well as some others. This is back when he was playing for the Cardinals. I found it quite humorous this year, what he did to Houston because of the scandal. Mr. Lou Brock, this is another card that was part of the trade that I made at my local card shop a few years ago. This is number three of 99. Very special card to me. Got this Bowman Heritage Yadier Molina rookie card. Picked it up on eBay last year, or all this year after Christmas pulled a Tommy Edmond out of top series 2 last year and he was a hot item pulled this many years ago this Bob Gibson uh, commemorative patch it's the I in his nickname This was an eBay purchase. Jordan Hicks, Immaculate. Number, it's a serial out of 58 out of 99. 2019. I picked up this as well with my card shop as a trade. This is a Shelby Miller serial 57 out of 75 back when he was on the Cardinals this was an eBay purchase Stan Musel this is serial numbered 56 out of 99 from 2019 or 2018 Immaculate again I am a Cardinals collector I like my Cardinals cards. I do like to trade with people. One of these days, maybe in this video, I'll put a email address down. If somebody wants to trade, we can talk about trades. Picked up this Ozzy Smith from another card shop here in town. It's kind of beat up on that corner. That's a nice card. 
from 81 Tops. I picked up another one from the same card shop. This one's a little bit better shape. It's a little rough down at the bottom. Still love the card. Same card shop. Picked up this Mini Minoso. 63 tops. It is a little rough in that corner. It's definitely grade, gradable. So hopefully one of these days when the prices mellow out a little bit, I might send it in to get graded. I picked this up a few months ago. This Roger Maris. It's a beautiful card. A little off-centered. A little rough on that top. But I still love the card. Got this Ken Boyer. This is from a card shop. Same card shop. Years ago. George Crow picked this up a few years ago as well. Funny thing is, the owner of this card shop, he's a Yankees fan, but he is from that area. He moved out here and became a teacher many, many years ago, and now he's retired. He's a wonderful guy to talk to. Lindy McDaniel. I believe he was a senator in the state of Missouri as well after his baseball career. Picked up this Carlos Beltran. That was one of the cards as part of a trade a few years ago. It's 31 out of 36. Hopefully he'll make the haul. Got this red shinted disc. Autograph. Picked it up off of eBay a few years ago. Pulled this Albert Pujols years ago out of a pack. Hopefully, he'll come back to St. Louis before he retires and retire as a Cardinal. That'd be pretty cool to end his career there where he started. Stan Musel picked it up last year at a card show. Seller gave me a good deal on it. It is rounded in that corner. A little bumped on that one. Still, it's a beautiful card. Picked up the Steve Carlton off the website, eBay. It's a beautiful card. And, you know, it's got some edges, but still a nice card. Picked up this 70 top Steve Carlton on eBay as well. It's a beautiful card. Kurt Flood. Picked this up at a local card shop. It's a little rough in that corner. Still gradable. Again, if prices come down a little bit, and as we all know, the wait time with the uh, transaction of PSA, we'll see what happens there. Bob Gibson, 63 tops. Beautiful card. Picked that up in my local card store. Another one I picked up from the same card shop. As soon as I walk in, he just pulls out all of his Cardinals cards. I don't even have to ask. Orlando Cepeda. Same store. Another Kurt Flood. It's a wonderful card. 1959. It's very good condition. You know, it's typical. Those older cards with the corners. 
picked this up at a card show. 1970 tops and now ERA leaders. It's Lou Brock. I do have a couple of these. This one I picked up at a card shop. The other one I picked up was at a card show recently. This was a trade with a YouTuber. Um, he's a big Cubs fan. And of course I'm a Cardinals fan. So I gave him some Nico Horner stuff and he sent me a surprise amount of stuff. Good guy. I haven't talked to him in a while. I do need to give him a shout. His channel here on YouTube is Dirt Rat Baseball. So if you're looking for a channel to check out, check out Dirt Rat. He's a good guy. This is that other Lou Brock I had that I got at a card show here recently. It's another beautiful card. It's a little off center. 72 tops. Steve Carlton. Bob Gibson's last tops card. Beautiful card. This was an eBay purchase here a while back. Team card from 65. This is my treasure. I actually pulled this back when I was in college. I was at Walmart one day. I picked up a blaster. I just happened to pull this out of that blaster. I will never let this go. My kids can fight over it whenever I'm dead and gone. That's how treasure I would take this card. But it is numbered 1700 out of 2001. I also pulled this out of the same blaster box. I believe it was a hot box. Because I pulled a Ichiro with Pujols. It was one of the combo rookie cards. As well as a couple of Jose Reyes cards back when he was a hot item. But I'm definitely never going to get rid of that. Picked this up from a gentleman that had a card shop and now he's no longer in business. I have two of these. Beautiful card. Harrison Bader picked this up at the card shop with those other vintage Cardinal cards I have. I actually won this. Uh, before COVID, he had a dice game. If you made a purchase of $20 or more, you got to roll the dice. You can either pick baseball or football. And then with the roll of the dice, whatever two numbers you roll, one was for the row and one was for the column. And I just so happened to pick up this Bader rookie autograph Allen and Ginter I was kicking my heels he just laughed whenever I rolled it Ozzy Smith rookie card this was an eBay purchase I spent a little bit more than what I should have for this card but I truly love this card I needed it for my collection I wasn't afraid to pay just a little bit more than what I was willing to pay for it. Well, we'll stop here for tonight. That was some of my Cardinals PC. I hope I didn't bore you all with Cardinals cards. I know a couple of my YouTube subscribers are YouTube fans. KBO Collections and Tops Vintage 316. I hope they uh, enjoy this video and I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas tomorrow. God bless and good night.